hello and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to do a quick review of being arrested in washington dc and washington dc when you're arrested typically you'll be transported to the local central cell so if you have an incarcerated loved one um, that is arrested in washington dc a great phone number that you'll be able to call is 202-727-4225 or 28 and you want to call this number, although they won't give you a lot of information, they will let you know that your loved one is being held there. Um, typically, if they're arrested on a Friday or a Saturday or, or a Sunday and they're arrested on a misdemeanor charge, meaning like intoxication in public or a trespassing or something um, minor to that effect, they will be released on a citation. Um, they'll be finger print it and process and um, book and then they'll run a warrant check to make sure they don't have any warrants anywhere else and then they will be released back into the community and um, typically um, with a notice to return to court. Unfortunately, if they're booked in on a more serious, um, if they're booked in on a felony, unfortunately, like a gun possession charge of an unregistered firearm, a parole violation, or an arrest warrant that was issued by a judge, unfortunately, they're going to have to see the judge. Um, and typically, they see the judge on a Monday at like 1 p.m. when they all go in and where they do all the arraignments into this courtroom on that particular day. So... That is the process. When you are arrested in Washington, D.C., you will typically be taken to the central booking facility, which they can be located at 202-727-4225 or 28. Once they're taken there, if they're, you know, um, on a misdemeanor, they will probably get booked in, fingerprinted, and released. Now, if they're booked in on a felony, they will have to see the judge. And if it's a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, that typically will be a Monday. Unless if you're arrested between maybe 3 and 6 o'clock a.m., um, you'll probably have to wait to see the judge the next day, around 1 o'clock, <coughs> when they see everybody. So you might be booked in and you might be released on a citation um, in a good case. So that is a good thing. Um, there's some different things that in Washington, D.C., you there's two types of attorneys. There's the Office of the Attorney General, which typically handles the traffic matters, and then you have the United States Attorney, which handles like the more serious felony and criminal defense charge. Um, they have deferred prosecution and a lot of cases where you're able to, um, it's a good program, it's called deferred prosecution where basically you'll come up with um, an idea to maybe pay fine, take classes, do some sort of community service, or something to that diversion, and given a time, maybe three or six months out to come back to work. And as long as you um, comply with the deferred um, prosecution recommend recommendations and guidelines, you will not actually uh, be held accountable for that charge. The, the charge will basically just go away. Um, that's typically like for first-time offenders and different things to that nature. Um, and then you also have uh, something that's called deferred sentencing when it comes to um, taking this 